Get ready. Three, two, one. This is my fight song. Take back my life song. Prove I'm all right song. Good morning, guys. It is Thursday. Almost Friday. Um... For this, I showed you how I always get my mornings going, unless I'm having a stomach flare, which I've been having, but luckily today I could get some coffee, and that is very much needed because I wake up super early, and sometimes I don't get a lot of sleep. So, yeah. Um, today doesn't really have a main concept for my vlog. Um, I was going to kind of share something that I was gifted this week um, and she's really really nice and I just kind of wanted to put it out there that there are things that if you suffer with chronic illnesses or anything like that there is ways you can apply and be considered for care packages or things like that. Um, so I got something from Molly's Mail. You can look her up on Instagram with Molly's underscore mail or Facebook, which is just Molly's Mail. Um, or if you want to donate to give money for care packages so people like me can receive them, they really do mean a lot, um, especially to me and I know to a lot of other people. Because it, we don't really get a lot of happiness when we go through a lot and when we have these really hard days or weeks or months. It's really challenging. So um, to see the little things that you're not expecting, it, it really does mean a lot. And I can't even put it into words. So I'm going to share that with you guys. Um, so I got the little card and you know has the writing I'm not gonna read it because it's kind of personal but anyway um, and then she must have gone with another foundation which is the knitting and crocheting ministry in Upland California and they did this cute little headband um, which I wear headbands all the time so it's perfect and then they also gifted a fuzzy scarf so thank you to you guys for that as well. Um, I will be wearing these soon because it is very, very cold in New Jersey right now. Um, so yeah, those were probably my favorite things, but of course everything I really, really loved. And then I also got a, if I can get it out of the bag, a key necklace, um, super cute. And some earrings, which my mom has already put her name on these. Um, unfortunately, with my skin issues, I cannot wear many types of earrings. So, although I do love them a lot, um, I can't wear them. But my mom, they're little trees, and my mom loved them, so they will not go to waste. <laughs> um... I also got a bookmark holder, which is red and pink, and I actually was trying to make one off of Pinterest, but it didn't work out, so this was perfect timing. Fuzzy socks. I cannot tell you how many people with chronic illness will just ask for fuzzy socks. That's all we need. Heating pads, fuzzy socks, a blanket. You get it. They're great. And they're pink. Uh, I also got a coloring book. So it's like the adult version, which is super, super great. I have many, many of these that I've done. And this one happens to be great um, because with my Chiari malformation right now, and um, I was just re-diagnosed with Brown syndrome, which is very very rare so many people will not know about that um so what brown syndrome is is my eyes and you can probably see it in some of the vlogs my left eye lags so if i were to look at my nose my eyes 
would look like I'm closing them, but really my eyelids just go down too far. Um, the difficult part with that is because one eye lags, I'm really using a lot more use with my right eye. So if you were to think about that, if you broke your leg and all your muscle got out of your leg, it becomes an issue. Um, unfortunately, there's not much that can be done because my forward glaze or <laughs> forward gaze is fine. So if we were to do any surgery right now, it could mess that up and that is the most important thing. So for now, we're just going to keep an eye on it. There's not really much that can be done about it. It's not painful, it's just uncomfortable. But going back to why I brought that up, I am having issues with even reading. And I love to read, but my eyes kind of cross, even with my glasses that I'm supposed to be wearing when I do that. And it makes it really difficult, and then it's frustrating. And the coloring books that I've gotten, they're very little mandalas and stuff like that. Um, so it's really difficult to have the patience to sit there and do that because I can't see it. So with these, it's much larger. <laughs> so it makes it great because I don't have to like do this and yeah, it's just so much easier. So if anyone has Brown syndrome or is having issues and not knowing and you think that this may not be for you, maybe just getting a larger coloring page would be good. Um, I also got colored pencils and a pen, and it shows all of her information. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Here we go. And she is awesome. Thank you so much. It brought a huge smile to my face. I will be using a lot of these things. So, yeah, um, moving on to more serious stuff now, unfortunately. I was getting a lot of people, which is a great question asking how I'm doing and being very concerned and voicing their concerns because what I'm going through is a lot. And it's a lot when you have either just Chiari malformation or Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or any other chronic illness or medical condition or a mental issue. And then you like add things on top of each other and they just going and going and going and going. And it becomes a lot for me to handle at 24, let alone someone at 50 like my mom to handle who's not going through it. She's just kind of along for the ride and unfortunately has to deal with it with me. So um, that's where I'm trying to steer this with coping and how I am doing that with everything going on and do I have any fears going into these surgeries that are pretty invasive, big operations and stuff like that? Um, I've gotten to the point in my life where whatever happens, happens. Um, I'm not scared of anything happening. I am scared of pain and it not being managed. I am scared of my future and what it looks like from here on out um, and this is still like a very touchy subject for me so it does make me a little emotional um, because it is scary when I see myself here now and I can't even picture what it's going to be like in five or ten years or twenty so it is a little bit upsetting um, but fear is you cannot let it get to you um, it's not in my hands if it was I would be doing everything possible I could to fix what is going on um, I'm not even going to bring up some people have asked the fear of dying and all of that stuff I'm not going to bring that up because I don't think that's necessary I don't think I'm at that point but I think that I'm at that point where there can be severe complications and things like that um, and unfortunately at this point the risks just do not outweigh the pros of doing these types of things so it, it comes down to each person and what they feel and I feel like these are the things I have to do 
and if I have to risk these things to try to get things to work better for my my best health for my quality of life then I need to risk them um, for coping right now I will admit I'm doing a really horrible job with that um, I, we're trying to figure out a lot of things and we think this is where my eating disorder originally began four years ago. <music> Hope you look at my Instagram post because today is February 1st. It is National We Get Up Day. So every time you fall down, you typically get back up unless you're really, really hurt or any of that stuff. So you can see my story there about that um, because I was a figure skater and i hope you share it and we can bring more awareness to getting back up and doing what i'm doing and i hope you guys do the same so thank you for continuing to follow me on my fight to freedom